Hello, today I'm going to show you the GCP Auto Discovery app. After you have installed the app, according to the documentation, you can go to the application part of Big ID and search for the GCP or AWS or Azure application. In this case, I'm searching for the GCP application. You can add it as a favorite if you'd like to have here a shortcut. And now you can open the application and start to configure it. Okay. So first of all, I can decide what data sources type I would like to be created. For each of the vendors, GCP, AWS, Azure, there is a list of supported data sources and I can enter here whether I would like all of the supported data sources to be created or whether I would like particular data sources to be created, for example, BigQuery, Bigtable, Google Storage, etc. I chose all. Now I can decide what prefix I would like the data sources to have. In this case, I chose my own name. Of course, you can choose anything. Now I can decide whether I would like to add new data, data sources, whether I would like to update existing data sources, and what I would like to do with deleted data sources. For new and updated, I can select true or false. For deleted, I can select ignore, which means that nothing would happen if it's deleted. I can select disable, which means that it would be automatically disabled if it was deleted in the source system and remove mean that it would be deleted and it will disappear also from big id now i can add cred credentials and credentials id if i have hashicorp as a vault i have to use also the hashicorp id here and if i have SQL databases, for example, Postgres or MySQL, I have to enter here a username and a password. If I don't have SQL uh, databases, I don't have to enter it. Now I can decide whether I would like the data sources to create it enabled or disabled. I can decide that if I have data sources with buckets, for example, Google Storage, I can decide whether I would like to have one Google Storage data source or to have multiple data sources, one for each bucket. So I can consolidate the buckets or I can create explicitly for each and every bucket its own data source. Now I can decide whether I would like a test connection to be part of the onboarding. It would take more time to onboard this way, but then I would be sure that the created data sources are really working. I can also decide whether I would like to have a report or not. I will show you the report in a minute. And I can also decide whether I would like a notification for new connectors, a notification for update connectors, and a notification for old or deleted connectors, okay? Once I set all the parameters, I can save the parameters and I can run the operation. The operation takes a few minutes, so I did one in advance. Of course, I can also schedule it and run it every day or every week, and then the changes are, um, the changes in the uh, source uh, account are reflected automatically into Big ID. Now, what I would like to show you before I'm showing you the created data sources, I would like to show you the activity log. So we see here that the operation ran. It took seven minutes, okay? And we can have here a report, okay? I would open the report. And what we see here, sorry.
what we see here is the ID of the data source, the type of the data source, MySQL, Postgres, BigQuery, what happened to it, like created, not created, etc. If there's an error, I can see here the L, and now I can see the status of the test connection. Now you can see that I have mostly success test connections, and here I have two failures and the failure reason. Okay, we'll see in a minute why we had this failure. Okay, so this is the log and this is the report. Now let's go to the data sources and let's understand what happened. So we can see that these are BigQuery and all of them were tested successfully during the onboarding. And then we can see that Postgres SQL and MySQL failed. If you remember, I have told you that if you are using an SQL RDB, it is mandatory to enter user password. I did not enter user password, and this is the reason why the Postgres and the MySQL have failed. If I would add to the application the correct data, the user password, probably they would have they they would have not failed. Okay, so this is the GCP Auto Discovery app. As you see, it's very useful. You can onboard quite fast your GCP um, data sources. Um, we have the same application also for Azure and AWS. And then again, on these vendors, you can easily uh, automatically discover uh, the data sources uh, on your account and create them automatically. Um, we have already a customer that uh, was able to onboard uh, in few hours a uh, few thousands of data sources. So this feature is very uh, useful and very cool for a customer such as ours. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the demo. Bye.